Hey, what's up guys? This is T-Bone here. Welcome back to another episode where I'll be playing Gemstone Legends. Now, this is the second episode in the series, and in, if you haven't seen the first one, which is an introduction to the game, uh, take a look. I have a link up here so that you can check it out so you can get started. And also to help you get started with the game, there is a code that you can use um, which will help you get a free four star or an epic hero, Elador, as well as some gems and gold and some gold uh, scrolls. All you have to do is download the game from the link in my description below, play through the tutorial, and then enter the code hashtag T-Bone hashtag in the global chat, and then you'll earn yourself the reward. All right, so let's go in and take a look at uh, today's video. So what I want to go over is some battle mechanic basics, okay? Um, and to do that, we're going to show you in both campaign and also in um, the PvP. And so just a quick overview because I think the campaign is really where you're going to be spending a lot of your time because you need to play through the campaign in order to unlock most of the features and functionality in the game. So you're going to be going through that. And as you go through the campaign, um, you know, you're going to to come across some some difficult bosses and if you understand the basics of the mechanic for this game, it's going to make it a lot easier for you, all right? And so, um, you know, as you play, you'll, you'll, you'll notice already that you're going to have different paths you can take, so you're going to make choices there, and that's totally fine. And what I want to go through is basically just once you decide to engage in combat, what are some of the things that you need to uh, that you need to consider? And let's not do a boss fight because that might take a little bit longer. Let's just do like a regular by, uh, fight with some uh, mini bosses. So uh, we'll go ahead and engage. And so let's go in and take a look. All right, so first... You get to ch you get to take a look at your enemies, and then uh, anytime, by the way, in any of these screens, you can take a look at the little icon, the eye icon, and it's going to give you a, a very detailed explanation as well. So I'm just going to go through it in video format. First thing you can do is you can choose your dragon. You, there's ruby dragon, emerald dragon, and topaz dragon. All of the dragon except for topaz dragon will be available by th playing through the campaigns, whereas the topaz dragon is one that you will get uh, simply by playing through and you get it as a seven day reward, all right? So Topaz Dragon, uh, you can click and, and press on it. It'll tell you what it does. This one is a good debuff enemy in that it will cause colorblind. I'm going to explain what colorblind means after this, all right? And so then in here, you can also choose your heroes. So um, you can pick any number of heroes you want, although if you want it to get uh, three stars for the uh, campaign, you, need, you can only have three max heroes. You can also select any leader you like. Okay, any card can be a leader, that's totally fine. But what I would say is take a look and see if a card has a little crown a symbol on it. It tells you that it has a leader bonus and that's going to be Elidor and Elias. So uh, Elidor has the healing um, HP leader everywhere uh, leader ability. So all of your allies will gain 15% health. Whereas Elias, if you set him as a leader, then all of your allies will have a 10% attack boost. Okay, so uh, you can, like I said, you can use any card as a leader, but if you use, for example, Ermuk, then you're losing out on some of the leader ability there. So I like to, I like to set uh, El Elidor as my leader. Once we are set, then we can then move on to the next part where you can choose to put some potions there. I recommend putting in some mana and some health potion in there because it will definitely help you uh, in situations where you're in the bind. Now we're going to go in and do a fight. I'll talk about multi-battle in the next video. I think it's also going to be really helpful. Now, we're going to talk about the meat of this uh, video, which is uh, not just how you can do a regular you know, match three type battle, because that is very common, but how you can use this to your advantage because of the way this game is designed. All right. So first of all, all of the heroes in the game have uh, they, they take turns to attack. This includes your own allies and also the enemies. Each of them will only attack one time and they only ever attack one single enemy. Okay, so you can only attack one person and only one person can attack at a time. This is the fundamentals of this game design. And every unit that attacks, whether it's yourself or an enemy, has three matches to make. And so if you take a look here, um, my Elias is going to attack, then the next enemy is going to attack first. So um, let's 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 just go through a ba basic attack first, right? Let's just go ahead and, you know, choose randomly three attacks here. And you'll see that it kind of randomly selected a unit to attack. You don't really know who is going to attack at any given time. And so it's kind of hard to really tell, right? So that is if you play without... Um, you know that, that you can you can definitely play that way but there is a trick here that is going to help you get much more da uh, better damage and more focused uh, damage 
right? So first thing is, note that you can select your enemies at any given time, all right? And once you select your enemy, it will also tell you which one you selected and where they will be attacking next. So for example, this uh, hero here, you can also press and depress it, like if you just hold on to it. it will, you can also see that Yanya is going to be one uh, doing uh, attacking. You can sort of see, you know, what the, what her uh, health is, what her spell is going to be like. You can get all kinds of information. But the most important part here is take a look at the board now. So the person that is attacking is going to be my fire hero, Silas. So Silas is going to be attacking, and I'm attacking against an earth uh, enemy so I get one bonus already so the so one bonus I get is because I'm fire attacking against um, earth I get that bonus so there's a color affinity all right and you can take a look at the arrow here so we if you if you see a single green arrow you're going to get a 30% damage in, in, uh, increase if you see two a double uh, up arrow you're going to get a 60% damage boost Conversely, if you have a down red arrow, you're going to have a 30% decrease damage. And then a double down arrow will give you a 60% negative boost. So how does that work? Well, like I said, right now I am fighting uh, my fire heroes attacking. So I'm naturally strong against earth uh, heroes. So that gives me one arrow. But then if I also, on top of that, use a fire gem to attack, that gets me the second arrow. So you can see here, I get two up arrows uh, using fire. So that is guaranteed to give me a 60% boost to my damage. Now, if you add on top of that, any sort of cascading effects and also any, for example, if I, if I were to do a cascade here, I also get additional damage boost. Now, if there were other fire uh, gems I could match here, that would be great. But since I can't, I'm just going to go ahead and match something else. Notice that any other color I have, um, light, dark, and uh, green, they all have a single up arrow, whereas the blue uh, gems don't have any arrows because uh, it's weak against it's weak against uh, the earth hero, but because I'm using a fire hero, it kind of cancels out. All right, so pay attention to the arrows here and let's go ahead and see what happens here. So take a look at the numbers. So you see strong, strong, strong. And so you can really like, and, and so you can deal a lot more damage. Now, my Scyllis is not the strongest hero uh, in, in my team. And so that's why I wasn't able to one shot her. Now my Elias is on the board. I'm going to go ahead and choose the Scorpion and I'm going to be using water gems there. So a couple of things. One, I can use my battle skill. And the second thing is I will go ahead and you and, and match my uh, water gem. And if you can match a water gem with the power, uh, power gem as well, uh, that's going to give you additional damage also. So we're going to go ahead and, and do this. So we have 35, 45, you know, we have like a lot more uh, damage output there. And now I can go ahead and use my spell again. And now I'm now I have a light hero. So the light hero is going to be neutral against a green opponent. So I only get one up arrow even with my fire gem match. But I will do that because that is going to give me uh, some boost. Whereas now if I try to match my water gems, it's going to give me a negative 30% damage uh, to, to my output. So I want to try and avoid that if I can. Okay, so you want to generally you want to avoid having these negative uh, uh, damage output unless unless you're going to set yourself up for the next person that's going to attack, that's going to give you a little bonus. Okay, so so there's definitely uh, more advanced strategies around it. Now, what does my Bastet Dragon do? Well, it's going to have a 100% chance to inflict color blindness on all enemies for three turns. Well, that means once it's inflicted with color blindness, that just means that, for example, the red uh, scorpion, when it attacks my earth hero, um, it's going to only have the the boost for the color finny of the hero but if it matches a fire gem against my uh my earth hero it's not it's going to be neck it's not going to have that uh that additional power boost and it will not get any power boost against anyone else so basically you lose that advantage by matching the correct color and so we're gonna go ahead and fight against uh the fire the fire scorpion and let's try and deal more damage to it and use your spells you know, use your active uh, skills as much as you can because, um, you know, you want to try to uh, take out the enemies as quickly as you could. And any any hero is able to use um, any gems to, to attack, okay? And so right now, this is my fire uh, unit. I could choose to do something like this so that I, you know, naturally get a, a nice 
affinity bonus here. Um, although I don't have much of a choice there, but I did manage to get like a fire gem match. So that gives me a little bit of a boost. So any sort of additional boost you can get for yourself is what's going to be helpful uh, in terms of getting yourself uh, nice damage. And so notice right here, uh, I am a earth here. I'm, I'm a light hero attacking fire hero now. So I only get one single boost by matching water, but this should give me almost enough. It's almost enough for me to take everyone out. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use my spell to take out the fire scorpion. And now let's just go ahead and uh, let's just go ahead and, and, and finish this up. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. And we're going to just create a power gem here. So if you have four or more, uh, if you have four gems that you, you match, uh, that is going to give you a power gem of level one. And then uh, if you have more, if you have more um, connected than, than four, then the power gem level rises. All right. And so this is the basics of how you use uh, the board and sort of, you know, by selecting the, the, the enemies, you can see uh, whether you're going to get additional bonus or not. Highly recommend it, especially in the beginning as you're getting used to the game. This will really help you make a decision on which gems to match uh, as opposed to just randomly choosing what you want to go with. Now, uh, one last thing I wanted to showcase quickly is just, uh, you know, the same thing applies in the arena as well. So here's the arena page. I'm going to have a more um, comprehensive video on PVP in a, in a different video. I just wanted to quickly showcase this and I'll talk more about the, the information there. Just, you know, quickly you can set your offense and also you can set your defensive team. And on top of that, you can change the background here with some gems. You can buy it with gems or with gold. I will also talk about it in a different video on where I think you best uh spend your gems as you're starting out all right so let's go ahead and jump into arena we're going to select a um let's select a easy team for now just quick so it's just so like it can kind of showcase how how it works so we're going to go in and we are going to use sure we will go ahead and use one token we're going to fight against this exactly the same idea okay so you want to pick and choose where possible if you can um if you if you could get some additional uh, bonus, but since we can't, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do this match right here, and we're going to we're going to use this setup here. And if I had if there was a fire hero that was uh, going up against that, that would have been better because then I could get a little bit bonus. And you can see here uh, it's the same idea, right? Like you want to you want to maximize where you're going to be able to deal damage. And at the same time, uh, you want to try to increase as much as you can uh, some uh, cascading so that you can boost your damage more as well. So that's what's going to help you uh, with your damage output. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, set up here. There's not enough light gems for me to, to really do anything, unfortunately, but we will go ahead and uh, take out our first opponent. So the way that this, this game plays out is a little bit different than, you know, some of the other battles that you might you might be used to seeing. But I, I really enjoy it. I really think that this is uh, very interesting and it's very engaging. It makes me really uh, think about my moves uh, each each level. And trust me, at some of the later levels, you do sort of need to take your time, really think it through, especially if you're trying to finish a challenge where you are, you're trying to, to complete, you know, uh, with three stars. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look now. So again, like by selecting your, uh, by selecting, keeping a, a hero selected allows you to like try to avoid where you have like negative arrows. So it, because sometimes you don't really think about it. So so then instead that what, what you get is, um, you know, it just gives you that little bit of a visual uh, cue for to help you with. And Take a look at the, the way the fight's going. There is, you know, this is actually a perfect example where some, uh, at a later time, I do want to talk about some of the, the team composition, what I think is going to be a really good composition to go with because um, some of the skills that I've seen so far, they're so useful. Some of these skills that are available in the game, even if it's like a lower tiered uh, hero, it can be very useful. And uh, there's definitely, like, I'm, I'm actually definitely excited to, uh, to, 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 you know, check out uh, the various different um, compositions and I'll be sharing that with you as well. All right, so let's go ahead and finish up this fight. We should be able to do this no problem. We are we are light against light right now, so we're not going to be able to do additional damage, but we should do just fine uh, with what's remaining here. So we're just gonna go ahead and select, make sure that we are uh, focused on, you know, matching as many dark gems as we can. But with this, we are good to go. So we do get a victory. We earn ourselves some, uh, some trophy here and then 
we make our way up in the, the PvP tier. Again, I will be uh, covering PvP in a bit more detail. I just wanted to kind of showcase how you can use uh, this knowledge for how you do battles in this game to um, all the different aspects of the game. So that's gonna be it for me for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Again, if you haven't yet, download the video, uh, download the game using the link in my uh, description below. Remember, if you enter my, my code, hashtag T-Bone hashtag, you're gonna get yourself a little uh, hero, uh, not a little hero, a little gift, including a four-star hero, which I'm currently using uh, as my main setup already. So that's gonna be it for me for today, guys. Thank you for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next episode.